A lot of questions are being asked on why a Papua New Guinean was not appointed as coach of the SPPNG Hunters. The simple answer is qualification and network with other high-level coaches. According to Papua New Guinea Rugby Football League Chairman Sandy Saka, only three Papua New Guineans applied out of the 14 applicants for the coach's position. The rest were expatriates. We had 14 people applied, uh, 11 were non-Papua New Guineans, three were Papua New Guineans. And as I said, the shortlisting and review was not done by the PNGRFL board. It was done by this independent uh, panel that was set up and uh, unfortunately when they ranked uh, through qualification things, uh, they did not meet the uh, qualifications. The only PNG coach to make it into the top three for consideration was Stanley Tappen. But the independent subcommittee that was put in place to vet the application, which included Marcus Bai and Daryl Vanderveld, director of statewide competitions for the QRL, gave preference to Matthew Church because of his high level of experience and his network of coaches and trainers at NRL level and QRL level as well that can help Papua New Guinea grow the game. Uh, one was part of the shortlist of the top three that came in, uh, but uh, Matt stood out head and shoulders above the rest because of what is done with the coaching and at that level, elite level, and also because uh, of the resources he brings to the hunters in terms of networking. Church is already pulling together his contact list. On my network, yes, I've got a number of coaches who are um, with NRL clubs, whether they're NRL head coaches or, or in, just in uh, assistant roles. Um, so looking to uh, hopefully use those as a bit of an education tool for some of our staff, if I can get our staff to go over there. It was unfortunate that Michael Marum had to leave after an extension to his contract for three more years. Saka says that hindered a succession plan for local coaches. We had a succession plan that was mapped out when we appointed coach for his uh, second term. We couldn't complete that succession plan because he resigned three months into his court. So going, having learned from then, we worked with, uh, we sat down with Matt to let him know that succession planning and skills transfer is very important. But Saka and the PNG RFL board have given Church 18 months for a succession plan going forward, with the PNG RFL's main goal to get the DGCL Cup coaches to a level 3 NRL high performance coaching level. At the moment, the only Papua New Guinean with that qualification of level 3 is Michael Marum. Before Matt leaves in 18 months time, we'd prefer that all our 10 Digital Cup coaches had the qualification necessary to coach the hunters. That, that should be the PNG RFL's plan. In 18 months time, if our 10 Digital Cup coaches do not have uh, NRL high performance level 3, then the CEO and I have failed in our responsibilities. Fidelis Sukina National, MTV Sports.